Hey loves, welcome back, or welcome if you're new. Today I decided to work in my Mottery sketchbook on some more simplified landscapes. It's been a while since I attempted the first lot and I thought it'd be something that I could do again today that wouldn't require too much thought. I've been in a bit of a creative rut over the last couple of weeks and essentially had to trick myself into painting today, so I wanted to do something loose and relaxed, but also something that would be visually satisfying and hopefully give me a bit of a boost to get back into painting. Because I didn't want to overthink things, I only used a few colours, an ultramarine, a bright yellow and magenta, and then black and white. But the black I didn't use much at all. Um, for the first painting I tried to block in a quick outline and some rough values as a guide, but it honestly wasn't that effective. I was approaching this particular painting quite tentatively with quick short brush strokes which I don't think lends itself well to the looser, broader style that I was going for. Like last time I used film screen caps that I found on Pinterest. I will have my Pinterest link below where I have a board called Scene that has these screen caps and a few others that I might paint one day. Um, I'm in the process of redoing my Pinterest boards so a few of them are empty but I'm hoping to fill them up with inspirational images as I come across them. This first painting is from a screen cap from the film Pride and Prejudice I think. The second is from a film called Beautiful. Um, it may be a Spanish film, it has Javier Bardem in it. Uh, these are all films that I haven't actually seen by the way but the visuals really drew me to them. The third film I used was called The Handmaiden which I believe is Korean, and then the last one was captioned Red Desert, but I googled it because I thought that doesn't sound like a real film, and it was actually called Red Desert. Uh, as I went along, you can see me getting a bit more confident with my brush strokes. I think that really helps with this style of painting. I had to be a bit braver with blocking things in. Um, you can actually watch this video in real time. I have it on Patreon, which is linked below as one of the weekly rewards. I always do a real-time video and a Q&A session. I also have random little posts throughout the week as well, so you can always see what I'm up to and what I'm drawing. But yeah, in real time you get a better idea of the pace of things and how much I'm actually considering brush strokes, if I am at all. Sometimes I do just go as fast as possible without thinking and see what I end up with. I do have a real-time video in this style here on YouTube as well, um, of the dancers in my Mexico travel journal. Uh, so the first painting on this page took about 15 minutes, the rest of them about 10 minutes each. I'm using gouache paints, um, a mix of brands, a couple of Reeves, one Talons one from their cheaper range and then the yellow from their more professional set. I honestly just picked up the first paints I could reach um, that were the right colour. I don't mind using cheaper gouache if I can mix it with something a bit more substantial. So how are you anyway? Um, long time no chat. I hope everyone's well, enjoying the summer, taking care of themselves. Um, I'll take the time now to say hi to the new peeps that have joined us over the last couple of weeks. A lot of people came over from one of Dodie's videos, which is just amazing and lovely. People have been really kind and it's just been a really wonderful addition to the fam, really. Um, I'm so grateful for the kindness and encouragement that we have in this community of creatives and I hope it can continue. Uh, now then. I am going to wrap things up, but if you have any comments or questions or video suggestions, I'd love some suggestions, please leave them below. As always, uh, do check the video description for any info you might be looking for. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!